And also these snacks are really easy to eat on the go. I don't know where I'm going. So today we're gonna to be talking about what I eat in a day. I've seen a lot of your comments. I've seen how excited and interested you are about nutrition. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I ate yesterday. Most of it's not home cooked, it's not fancy, but it is nutritious and it's food that I genuinely enjoy. It's time for me to go into the hospital. It's gonna be a crazy day because I'm starting super early and I have a really late day. But when it's a gorgeous day like this, it definitely makes it a lot easier. So for breakfast today, I'm doing one of my favorites, avocado toast with a little smoked salmon. Get your essential fatty acids in it. Ah, uh, mmm, ah, uh, so good. Look at that, you want a bite? You want a bite? No, for me. Breakfast. I got all the syrup, I got, I got all the syrup. It's known as the most important meal of the day, but not everybody wakes up with an appetite, so I understand if breakfast isn't for everyone. But if you do eat breakfast, you're getting a lot of health benefits throughout the day. Not only do you kickstart your metabolism, which allows you to burn calories throughout the day, but you're also giving yourself enough energy to get to the gym. First ingredient, very simple, whole wheat bread. Uh, I really enjoy whole wheat bread versus white bread. Whole wheat bread contains complex carbohydrates versus simple carbohydrates that you find in white bread. What it does is it gives you energy to be utilized throughout the day instead of just giving you one quick peek and then a crash later on and sometimes get into that hangry state that we all know about. My Next, light cream cheese. You need saturated fat to make hormones in your body, and while it does raise bad cholesterol, it also raises good cholesterol. Next ingredient, my favorite ingredient, avocados. Avocado is actually the Aztec word for testicle because avocados do hang in pairs with one hanging lower than the other, so they do resemble testicles. Pretty cool fact. They contain a lot of antioxidants and they're rich in fiber. Yes, avocado does contain a lot of fat, but it's important to remember that it's unsaturated fat and that unsaturated fat actually helps increase your good cholesterol and does not affect your bad cholesterol. Lastly, we have salmon. It's a great ingredient to add to your meals because it contains proteins, omega-3s, antioxidants, and on top of everything else, it's delicious. It's snack time. I just finished rounds. I have to go to research day. Need a snack. Lunch is still a good three hours away. I really like the perfect bar because made of good quality ingredients. I'm not their spokesperson, but I'm definitely a big fan. They contain a lot of protein. They're made with good quality ingredients. And because they have to be refrigerated, you know there's no preservatives. It's lunchtime. Just got my favorite meal for lunch right here. A little Chipotle action. I'm eating with my colleagues here. Say hello, colleagues. They say hi. While some doctors go to the cafeteria, if I'm not on call, I like to get out of the hospital for a bit. So I do run out to Chipotle. It's one of my favorite places to get lunch. Uh, I really like the ingredients that they use. I think they're really tasty. And what I really enjoy is that you're in control. You get to choose what ingredients go into your plate. I really like to get a burrito bowl instead of a burrito or a quesadilla because it avoids some of the extra carbohydrates that you get from getting a wrap. But the things that I do like to make is to get a burrito bowl with either chicken or steak, both high in protein. There's been a lot said about eating red meat and increases risk of cancer. And while that's true in high amounts, if you eat it in moderate amounts in a good balance, that's obviously not a problem. We have black beans. They are zero fat. And they're one of the richest foods in fiber, which actually allows you to decrease some of the bad cholesterol that you can get through eating an unhealthy diet. Brown rice. Brown rice is definitely superior to white rice. It's a complex carbohydrate. It doesn't peak your sugar level like white rice does. Next, I like to go for guacamole. They always say, do you know that it's extra? And I always say, yeah, I do, but well worth it. I get the mild salsa because I'm not a fan of my food being too spicy. Last but not least, I love cheese. Gives you a little bit of calcium, a little bit of vitamin D. Overall, this is a nutritious meal for someone that shares my goals in trying to keep weight on and build muscle. You have a good mix of complex carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, fiber, all great nutrients. But it's important to know that these meals do contain a lot of sodium. Chipotle is known for that and now they started putting their sodium content on the menus. So keep that in mind because excess sodium can put extra pressure on your heart and kidneys. I am an athlete and the rest of my day I don't take in much sodium. So I think it's a great meal for me. But just again, keep that in mind that the sodium content in this meal is high. Do you know what time it is? It's snack time again. Got my carrots and nuts. Perfect healthy snack. What's beautiful about these almonds right here is that they contain vitamin E, fiber, they keep your hair and nails looking fresh. The carrot, mm, you, know, you know I love carrots. Carrots are rich in vitamin A, 
known as beta carotene. Almonds, great unsaturated fats, vitamin E, great a food tea for healthy hair, nails, and skin. And in general, I just think that they're fun to eat. Just ordered some sushi, crazy day in the hospital, but gotta get my protein in, gotta get my omega-3 fatty acids. I like to get a variety of sushi, and I get the real sushi. Not the sushi that people eat with the rolls and all that. Just fish on top of brown rice, very clean. It's really my favorite meal to end the day, get ready for the next day without overeating and feeling fully stuffed when I go to bed. This is my go-to dinner meal. I love fish, I love the omega-3s that they provide. There's not a lot of calories in here. I prefer eating my sushi with brown rice. We talked about the benefits earlier. You get complex carbohydrates, you get proteins. It's a clean meal, it fills you up, and really it does taste great. Important to note about fish, Wild fish is better than farmed fish because it contains less mercury. There's a lot of news going around about how mercury poisoning is bad. So if you are eating farmed fish, make sure no more than three to four servings a week. So that's what I actually eat in a day. And it's not something that I eat every day. I know yesterday I consumed probably more sodium than I should have, but in general, it's balanced, it's in moderation, and that's really the smart way to go. This diet obviously does not work for everybody and I don't recommend it for everybody. If you're interested in the calories and all the other nutrients that were in my meals, check out the description down below. We put all that information there for you. And remember, eat in moderation to stay healthy. I hate that you're recording right now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button now to get new videos every week.